Hi, my name is Lyndon Jones. I'm a professor at the School of Optometry and Vision Science at the University of Waterloo in Canada. I'm also the director of CORE. CORE is the Centre for Ocular Research and Education. It's really interesting when you look at the proportions of patients in the reusable category wearing silicone hydrogels compared with hydrogels. And, and in most markets these days, it's around about 85% or so of new fits tend to go in the reusable format into um, silicon hydrogels. In the daily disposable category, we see a lot, lot more patients in the hydrogel format than we do compared with sci-highs. Why do we, as practitioners, upgrade people's modality, but think about potentially downgrading material? And in fact, when you survey practitioners, the same three things came up. Cost, concerns about comfort, and concerns about silicone allergy. When you actually survey patients, Patients will say, you know, don't, don't worry too much about the cost. Your job is to tell me what the benefits are of those materials and let me decide whether I want to use my spare cash to spend it in that way. The second thing refers to comfort. When silicon hydrogel materials first came out, now over 20 years ago, they were initially intended for the overnight market. They were very stiff and we absolutely unquestionably saw a lot more mechanical complications. Now what we're seeing with modern silicon hydrogel materials are materials that typically have a higher water content, a much lower modulus. We have really good evidence that both within the reusable category as well as within daily disposables, there's really no difference between those two. The third part, part is, is a really interesting one because it's this concept around, oh no, I've got a patient who's allergic to silicon. It, it's actually, in fact, biologically impossible for that patient to be allergic to silicone. If you think again about what appears to be an allergy, it looks like we can kind of divide up those categories in, into really two things. First of all, mechanical complications and mechanical signs, and then inflammatory signs. Now, when it comes to the inflammatory responses, the red eye, the sort of infiltrates that we sometimes see with sci high patients, again, that's not an allergy to silicone itself. It could be a response to something on the lens could be a component from the solution. It could be a component from the tear film. The response when we see them are only ever due to things that's on the lens, not due to the lens material itself. And interestingly, by going to a daily disposable sci-high, a lot of those complications are overcome as well.